Ryan Garcia, uh, we are proud of you. The world is proud of you. You made this fight happen. You wanted this fight. And uh, I'm sure a lot of fighters will learn from you that uh, you're daring to be great. But I do want to clarify why Bernard Hopkins and I weren't uh, at the post-fight press conference. First of all, Bernard Hopkins was accused during the weigh-in of having testosterone cream on his hands and touching Gervonta Davis when he only wanted to help him because he was going to fall off the, off the stage. So um, PBC, Gervonta's promoter, banned him from everything. He couldn't get inside the ring. He couldn't do anything during the promotion. And so um, as for myself, my security team told me, boss, we got to get the fuck out of here because I received death threats. You guys don't know this. I received death threats throughout the whole week. And they just said it was simply too dangerous. So we got out of there. And plus, Eric Gomez, who is my president, who was right there front and center with Ryan Garcia. So there was no issue, no problems. Uh, this is all coming from all these PBC minions uh, that are just attacking Ryan, attacking Golden Boy. But it's all good. It's all good. Ryan Garcia made this happen. Tank made this happen. We had a great fight. The best man won. My hat's off to you. And uh, again, Tank Davis, you're a great fighter. Ryan Garcia, I have your back. Bernard has your back. We're with you a thousand percent. And you will be back stronger than ever, better than ever, guaranteed. Thank you. First of all, Oscar De La Hoya was just all over the place. But uh, the fact that he even has to come out and even say something and make a video and address this shows that it's a problem in itself. Now... I'm going to tell you why I'm going to call bullshit on all this. First of all, if you've been getting death threats all week, it certainly didn't stop you from coming to the fight, you know, every other, this whole time. You know, but I'm even going to digress on that. I'm going to show you what the bullshit is. Basically, you saying that PBC ran you up out the building because you were scared for your life. That's what he's basically saying in a nutshell. Okay. Now, if that's the case, and if Oscar De La Hoya thought it was so urgent and so important for him to get up out of there because he feared for his life and his safety for him and Bernard Hopkins, then why the hell did you leave Ryan Garcia there by himself? Is it not dangerous for him? You see how that makes it look even worse? See, I always pay attention to what people say. So you saying, hey, you know, these PBC minions is getting at you, Ryan, and uh, Bernard Hopkins and stuff like that. And you be getting death threats all week and all this other stuff. And you, you was informed that you need to get up out of there and stuff. And you wasn't concerned about Ryan's safety. You see that right there? That's plain and simple. You didn't care about his safety? He wasn't in danger. He rode with you. That's your boy. Dude, that's the equivalent... Or like your man's or your homie finna get into a fight and it's him and a group of guys and he think he got his homies behind him and he turn around and y'all ain't even there and he facing all the people by himself y'all basically left him in the middle of the fight if this was street shit just left him there I mean make that make sense You got to. You know, and if it was all cool like that, you would not have to address Ryan via video talking about you got his back. He should already know that Oscar De La Hoya verbiage should be like, you know, I talked to Ryan. He knows that, you know, uh, I, we got his back or something like that. Instead, he was talking to the camera to Ryan. Which shows you there's a disconnect and a problem right there. It's very simple. If it was that dangerous for you, why wasn't you concerned with Ryan Garcia?
Now, this is the thing. Because <laughs> all you got to do is just pay attention. Okay. Let's say that explains you and Bernard Hopkins. What about Goosen? What about him? So all y'all just managed to get up out of there because I guess it was dangerous for him too. But once again, peep this. It wasn't dangerous for Ryan. Hmm? Oscar? It wasn't dangerous for him? You weren't worried about him? You, you know, just high tail it. Yeah. Or did y'all really have some steroid creams on your hand trying to touch Javante Tank Davis? Hmm. We all know it's a dirty sport. Hella dirty sport. And that's a wild ass story right there. So wild, I'm gonna tend to believe it. And you try to touch, I mean, why they just threaten you out the blue like that? I mean, you've been intending to fight the whole time. I mean, if you get death threats all week, uh, uh, certainly hell, you, you should have got used to it by now. So all of a sudden, after the fight, when Ryan lose, when your guy lose, you're scared? I would think that would probably happen to the guy that won versus the guy that lost. That don't make sense. The person that lost team got to go fear for their life <laughs> by the team that won. That's weird. Real weird. <laughs> you know, make no sense at all. Like I said, um, people sent this to me and I guess... I don't know. I guess maybe y'all was thinking this was a proper excuse or this, this, and that, but uh, I'm a master of discernment when it comes to bullshit. And I slice right through that. You don't fool me with that. that. That story is all over the place. And don't none of it make sense. And what about Goose? Where was he? So stop the bullshit. You know what you did. But what you actually did you just murdered your whole company staff record label as a crew you just murdered them because you just showed anybody who might even wanted to sign up with golden boy what you would do to them when it comes down to it and you know it that's why you putting out this video talking about yo we got your back and all this other stuff that's why you putting it out there you just murdered any future business for yourself ryan was the only one really rocking with you so i don't really understand so you know, I mean, that was dumb as hell. It, it, as far as business, you just assassinated yourself. As far as that, who gonna wanna sign with you after that? Who? That's just my opinion. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Van, I'm out.